In Dinwiddie County, we have one high school. And inside the building, we have 1,278 students. In charge is one principal. I am Robbie Garns. And he has one, two, three vice principals. And they have two, two, two. Each has two children attending the high school. I think it's very unique to have each administrator to have two children here in the building. It's very unusual. And to have them go from freshman to senior, it's really a neat thing that's going on right now in Dinwiddie. Their teenage children, though. My daughter will walk by and we'll wink at each other or something, but my son, he has no eye contact at all. And for the first time, puts these students in a unique position, even as to what to call their parent. I guess Mr. Walters. I try to like avoid him, so I don't really treat him as a dad here. I see her in the hallway, I'm like, oh, hey, mom, and that's it. <laughs> and for this senior. I had her both as a teacher and as a vice principal. After being together in school for five years. Honestly, I feel like both in and out of class, we're in the same sort of position as in uh, mother-daughter. Some, though, like Chase Cousins, takes it in stride. She's a good mom around the house, but at school she uh, checks up on me from time to time and she usually helps me with work if I need help. For the parents, it's also a balancing act. But a lot of times we will just make eye contact and kind of nod at each other because there's a time and a place for everything. I don't want to make them uncomfortable or have a different experience than anybody else. I want them to have the same high school experience. So we interact plenty at home. We spend a lot of time together. When we get to school, it's all business. But working in the school does give these parents a unique view. It is very nice to see them in their element with friends, with, with interacting with the extracurricular activities, the engagement that they have with um, teachers. But just because your parents are assistant principals. Like I told them, you know, you define yourself. Who I am doesn't define you. Still the fact all three assistant principals have two children each in school with them. We're one family. That's our hashtag for this year. So what better way to show it than by having six children that are belong to the administration. But Dinwiddie County High School has more associated numbers than just six. We have 12 staff members that have students that attend school here. We have two teachers that have younger siblings that are students. We also have a mother and daughter that teach here. And then out of our entire staff of about 110 um, staff members, at least 36 of them are graduates of Dinwiddie High School. The assistant principals tell me that the people who work for the school system not only have a passion for it, they love the county. So if you were to add up all those numbers and give Dinwiddie a report card, they'd get an A. That's a look inside Wayne's world. I'm Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News. Really makes you think, though, if your parents were at school, <laughs> how your life might have been a little bit different? I think <laughs> it would be the coolest experience ever. I, I just feel like whenever I need it, if I forgot my lunch money, if I needed some extra money for the vending machine, I are know what my parents are. Are. Pa are your parents watching right now, maybe? <laughs> I, think I think they got the hookup, why. actually. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Hi, you, Mrs. Burns. <laughs> do you know any interesting people living in Wayne's World? We would like to hear about them. Just email waynesworld at wtvr.com.